Good morning guys. Is your girl Black Forest Princess here? All the way from Black Forest, Germany, originally Kenya. So welcome to the channel and to my new subscribers, you are so welcome. Uh, you are so welcome and thank you for subscribing to this channel and to my subscribers my returning subscribers thank you so much for the love for the support always and yeah so thank you guys so i just dropped uh, my kid to kindergarten and now i'm just heading home we are doing you know right now we are doing the easter uh, easter decorations people are busy actually only kindergarten are still uh, open but most of the kids have Easter holidays yeah so I thought I could you know we could finish with our our garden uh, you know planting our vegetables and all that but guys look at this it's no it's snow everywhere and in that weather you cannot plant anything <laughs> they will all get destroyed so yeah so we are waiting and hoping that it will uh, melt and you know and not come back <laughs> not just melt and then come back again no i hope it will melt like we are we have we've had enough of snow right now and we just wanna go on with our uh you know april programs what we usually do because easter we are not expecting it to be very cold and let's hope it won't be that cold mm -hmm. look at that guys So let's hope it won't be very cold. It looks beautiful though. But no, we've had enough of this. We have had enough and we want sunshine now. <laughs> we've had enough of it. Now the sun can shine. Mm -hmm. Look how blue the sky is. But it's very cold. It's very cold. I think it's minus. Today I'm even wearing gloves. I think it's minus something degrees. Yeah, so let's hope for the best weather this week because the kids also want to enjoy easter holidays and yeah so yeah so guys just welcome to my channel and let's see what we have in store <laughs> what you're going to do today so guys as you can see your girl is fresh i'm ready kid is now in kindergarten and i can um do some videos for you guys and you know just keep up with the pace yes i'm so happy to be back on youtube guys i'm really so happy and i'm thankful for you guys for always supporting me so um i just made myself ready i want to make oh and today guys there's something i'm going to do but that will be in another video i'm going to unpack something that i've wanted for a very long time so watch the next video you're going to see what your girl is going to unpack and definitely going to use it and so i want to make myself kenyan tea as you all know i'm now a rich rich girl in town the d bought me uh, brought me the kenyan tea leaves and the uh, tea masala so right now i'm untouchable i love tea i love tea and it has to be kenyan tea ketepa so for uh, those of you who know kenyans really love tea and yeah so um 
I'm going to make myself tea and just do some I'm going to do some Easter decorations and maybe make the how do you call them the Easter the eggs I'm going to let's I, I'm going to try I did this but this time I got um, different colors I'm going to try with them and see if they will work out so it's just trial and error so you know if, if you don't try you'll never know so yeah welcome to my channel guys <laughs> oh the weather is so beautiful so guys for my tea as usual as always tea masala the black tea and ginger very important and milk so normally i love taking black tea but at this time where i just want to take a uh, tea with milk so that's what you're going to do so yep my water i think is ready i'm going to put the milk any kenyan know this feeling <laughs> then put some some ginger and some tea masala Ooh. that's enough so the rest I'm going to put away So guys, normally you can just put the tea leaves inside, but I want my tea properly cooked. So that's why I'm going to open the tea leaves and just, you know, pour it inside. I want it properly cooked. That's it. And we wait until it boils. So guys, any Kenyan in the house, you all know Gideri. So I still have uh, dried, these are maize, dried maize. So I'm going to soak them because I've really missed Gideri and I'm going to soak them until tomorrow so that I don't have to cook them uh, for a long time. It won't take long because I don't have the patience to wait until it's cooked when it's so dry it can take so many hours to cook so i'm going to soak them I told you I'm always a giver. I never lack stuff. Like, for example, this one here. This maize, a friend of mine, brought me from Kenya. And I'm always giving to. When somebody brings me something, I'm, I, I, you know, I share it with others. So this one is going to soak here until tomorrow. I'll cook it tomorrow. And my tea is ready. My tea is very ready. I can't wait. guys my tea is ready that's, that's how it looks like and I'm going to enjoy my tea so guys for my Easter egg decorations I'm going to use the the egg colors it's the natural colors so natural egg egg guys 
So that's what I'm going to use. So let me see, I only have uh, six, seven, eight, like 12 eggs. So the water is cooking. So normally you take the colors, you dip inside. This is, I think, um, which color is this? I'm just going to try. And then we see, so the water is already boiling. So let's try this one. colors two reds two greens two and then you let it boil and so guys I'm going to do another uh, decoration uh, like for the eggs I'm going to use these are colors for the eggs those are my eggs and I think I'm still going to get more eggs because this is more interesting so I already did one so I'm going to show you guys you take one paper towel and then you put your your colors how you want them Just mix them. Mm -hmm. So just mix the colors. And then you take your egg, put it there. and you just close it like this like this so i have two already the same procedure the colors are going to melt together and mix so it doesn't matter how you do it and they're going to be more colors I think because it's going to be dark I'm um, trying to put as many colors as I can you remember guys in primary school we used to do the primary colors to get the secondary colors Okay. 
And you guys, these are natural colors, so. Mm So that's it. So guys, normally this ones you put them in um, a vinegar. So let me get the rest of the stuff. You see? This is ready. And this one too. But this one you can still leave it maybe. So guys, these ones are ready. ones I almost forgot guys you use um, uh, vinegar with uh, the colors so you let it dry you let it dry and the eggs are going to absorb the the color is going to stick on the eggs so let's hope for a you see how the colors look like now So guys let me show you what um the results and guys because this is so interesting i'm going to do a video how to make how to decorate your just how to decorate your easter eggs because this was just a mixed up video um i'm going to do a video just for uh, how to decorate your easter eggs so these are my um my results and normally you first boil these ones, these are the first ones, you remember? So, and now we are going to open these ones. And guys, you didn't see me cook this one, so normally you cook them first. So I'm going to show you the results. Normally you leave them um, dry a little bit, so uh, ours is still... So these are the results. Look at that, guys. Hmm? I'm going to do a video for just for uh, decorating Easter eggs, guys. Because it's very interesting. So the second one. And that is it and the third one and 
that is it that is it the results don't doesn't look so bad so these are my easter eggs I'm going to do more of the eggs because uh, my kids, you know, during Easter, kids just, they find it interesting to eat um, colored eggs. It is not colored inside, but from the outside, it's colored because normally uh, you don't get eggs like this. Look at that, guys. Wow. So let me show you closely. So that's it. So I'm going to do a video, and th these are the colors I use. I'm going to do a video on just how to decorate your Easter eggs. Look at that. So guys, guess what? The weather is so beautiful. Your girl is wearing gloves already and what I'm about to show you. Guys, look at this. I want to, uh, this time, I want to do it different. I'm going to plant uh, potatoes here in this bag and I'm encouraging anybody, mostly uh, in Kenya people have balconies and they're not using it. I tell my sisters every now and then every time I tell them Plant your potatoes guys. This is a bag and in Kenya. We have gunia. You know them the other ones uh, Not the plastic ones, but this is um, more like uh, It's not pl plastic so get something like this in Kenya get a gunia plant your potatoes on your balcony where you think uh, you don't have enough space so i'm going to show you how you do your potatoes on your balcony in a bag and i'm very sure we are going to harvest potatoes this time from the bag so guys this is how it looks like this is how it looks like See, so let me get the soil and in Germany we buy soil because the soil is not so good for uh, planting crops you have to mix it or put manure in it you have to mix it with something so we already have our soil there let me show you we have We already have our soil here. This is what I'm going to use. It doesn't look so good for me. It's too sticky. But let me see if I can mix it with something. It is too sticky. To, uh, pot, uh, potatoes doesn't need... Um, they don't like sticky soil. This one looks for me more like clay soil. Those of you who know clay soil, so let's just try and see if it works. If it doesn't, we're going to get something else. So guys, this is how the bag looks like. And for the harvest, you normally open the window. It's like a window. So when your harvest is ready, then you just open this. This is like a window. That's how it looks like. So we're going to put soil inside and our potatoes. So how much did this one cost? The soil? How much did it cost? I don't know yet. <laughs> you bought it? Yeah. Yeah, how much? 
you know this was from this big pile ah okay yeah but we've used it um yeah how much did you buy the whole oh i don't know like 50 euro wow so let's see but this is only the rest this is just the rest I never really know what's going on. Look at me sometimes like all you want. guys i'm encouraging each and every one of you to plant your own potatoes yeah plant your own potatoes so easy if you have a balcony get something like this put soil in it if you are in kenya i know we have very um enriched soil go and get the soil get a sack put buy warus the potatoes and plant your own potatoes do not buy potatoes when you can then uh, still plant them on your balcony so that's how uh, this time we did it different but we're, go we're still going to plant more potatoes so I wanted to show you how you put your plant your potatoes in a sack guys there are going to be so many potatoes coming out of this small sack <laughs> and there's a window here where you can harvest slowly here I don't want to open it this is the window harvesting is also very easy so yeah Whew, get encouraged Twenty nine and I find myself wondering what did happen to the last ten? I ran away with my life fast forward, never turn back again. It's kinda funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And I think was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you Is this really happening? I can't be too sure But one day I'll be yours again Life lessons come one in a dozen The other eleven Something from nothing I sit here looking for an answer Maybe the biggest question was in the last chapter 
so guys you see what snow did mm, the flowers really suffered we need sunshine Those who know this garden, <laughs> I can't wait. So guys, I'm um, ending this video now because um, I have an idea guys because I didn't show you all the steps uh, the second um, Easter eggs uh, decoration so I want to make a video just to show you guys how you uh, decorate your eggs so I'm ending the video now and I hope you're going to love this video I've done a lot um, in this video there's so much not just the Easter eggs uh, decos. So um, I'm going to make an extra video for just for um, Easter eggs decoration. It's very interesting. So, and you also saw, um, yeah. So in Kenya, I never, I've never decorated eggs actually. And only in Germany, I learned this that you do, uh, that you can uh, decorate eggs here. So, and um yeah and i find it very interesting so what i'm going to do i'm going to make um video on how to decorate your easter eggs so yeah um i'm so thankful guys that you watched this video and i love you all and um thank you for always loving me for your support for subscribing to this channel i'm just so thankful so um until next time i love you and Bye-bye, guys. I love each and every one of you. <laughs>